Welcome to Art History with Jackie. To honor the last week of Black History Month, we will be talking about Lorna Simpson, an African-American photographer and multimedia artist who came to prominence in the 1980s and 1990s. She is most well known for her work in conceptual photography. Her works have been included in numerous exhibitions, both nationally and internationally. Her early work raised questions about the nature of representation, identity, gender, race, and history. Simpson continues to explore these themes in relation to memory and history in various media, including photography, film, video, painting, drawing, audio, and sculpture. Lorna Simpson was born on August 13, 1960, and grew up in Crown Heights, a neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York. She attended the High School of Art and Design. Her parents, a Jamaican-Cuban father and African-American mother, had moved from the Midwest to New York and took her to numerous plays, museums, concerts, and dance performances. In the summers, Simpson took courses at the Art Institute of Chicago while visiting her grandmother. Prior to receiving her BFA, Simpson traveled to Europe, Africa, and around the United States, where she further developed her skills through documentary photography. While traveling, she became inspired to expand her work beyond the field of photography to challenge and engage the viewer. It is then that she expanded her art practice to graphic design. Simpson attended the School of Visual Arts in New York, where she received a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Painting in 1982. During that time, she interned at the Studio Museum in Harlem, seeing up close the practice of David Hammonds, among others, who was an artist in residence. Simpson then earned her Master of Fine Arts degree from the University of California in San Diego in 1985. Her teachers included conceptualist Alan Caprow, Eleanor Anton, and David Anton. What emerged from these studies was her signature style of photo text. In these photos, Simpson inserted graphic text into studio-like portraiture. This brought an entirely new conceptual meaning to the works. This new perspective and style of Simpson derived from her curiosity about whether or not documentary photography was factual or served as a constructed truth. These works generally related to analyzing and critiquing stereotypical narratives pertaining to gender and race of black women in American culture. In her work in the 1980s and 1990s, Simpson tried to portray black women in a way that is not derogatory or were actual representations of the women portrayed. Some artists that have influenced her work include David Hammonds, Adrian Piper, and Felix Gonzalez Torres. Her works defied traditional conceptions of sex, identity, race, culture, history, and memory. She is primarily interested in exploring the intersectionality of identities. She is well known for her exploration of the Black female identity in particular. She enjoys leaving ambiguity in her work and includes gaps and contradictions so that not all the viewer's questions are answered. In 1990, she became the first African-American woman to exhibit at the Venice Biennale. She was also the first African-American woman to have a solo exhibition in the Museum of Modern Art with her 23 Projects exhibition. Simpson has explored various media and techniques, including two-dimensional photographs, as well as silk screening her photographs on large felt panels, creating installations, or producing video works. The human figure slowly started to disappear from Simpson's work around the end of 1992, when her focus turned to aesthetic issues. By the 2000s, she was exploring the medium of video installations. In 2001, she was awarded the Whitney Museum of Art Award, and in 2007, her work was featured in a 20-year retrospective at the Whitney Museum of American Art in her hometown of New York City. While she first built her career upon being a conceptual photographer, Simpson has since explored various media that have allowed her to share her creativity. Simpson's goal is to continue to influence the legacy of Black artists today. Thank you so much and see you next week.